weekend, uh, Friday actually, I had a visit with my cardiologist. It was a year of follow-up, but let me take you back. I had started keto in September 2020. Prior to that, probably for a few years prior and ongoing, but it's gotten way better, I had spells of tachycardia where I would get real lightheaded and just couldn't focus. That it would be last for a couple minutes, it would be gone. So I mentioned this to my doctor when we moved to New Hampshire in 2021, and he sent me to a cardiologist. They did an EKG that came back abnormal. Then they did an echocardiogram that came back normal. And I requested a CAC test. And he's like, well, okay, you know, I don't see where it's gonna help, but whatever, we'll, we'll go ahead and, you know, we'll order one. Well, he was gonna order it for the local hospital here, which was gonna cost me $500 out of pocket. So I researched and I found a place in Richmond, here where I live, that said, oh, you may have to pay $95, but yes, we can do it. In the meantime, the doctor had added on an aortic calcium test to be done too. I wound up not having to pay anything. So, so that was good. However, I got my test back and after watching Dr. Barry and all these people telling their scores are zero or a hundred or some stuff that to me that seems fantastic, my score was over 5,000 and it scared me to death. The aortic calcium score was 1,856. Cardiologist is like, just come back in a year. So that takes me to this past Friday. I went in and I had all my vitals taken, blood pressure's good, no medication for a while now after a long time on it. And then he comes in and he's at his computer and he's making all these notes. And when the nurse was going over uh, my chart, she said, your allergies are dust, pollen, and statins. Because I had told her last year when I went, I had told them that I had previously taken statins and it hurt my arms to move them. She said, okay, we're gonna put you down that you're allergic to statins. I said, okay, whatever works. So the doctor's in there and he's going through and he's making all his notes. And I just wanna read something that he had said and then we'll touch base with what he, we have discussed. His notes on my chart says, this is a 65 year old female patient who presents to cardiology clinic for routine follow-up. Since her last visit, she has had no active cardiovascular issues, symptoms or hospitalizations. She reports compliance with her medications with no perceived side effects. She remains a non-smoker. The patient has coronary artery disease as defined by an elevated coronary calcium score. Her overall total coronary calcium score was over 5,000. She also has aortic valve sclerosis without stenosis. Her aortic valve score was around 1,800. She remains angina free with no signs or symptoms of congestive heart failure with an active lifestyle. And again, he states she's a non-smoker. She refuses consideration for statin-based cholesterol-lowering therapy due to previous muscle-related side effects. She indicates that previous attempts to use statin-based cholesterol-lowering therapy resulted in crippling pain and weakness to the point where she could not lift her arms. She's lost a total of 100 pounds on a strict ketogenic diet combined with intermittent fasting. The following portions of the his patient's history were reviewed and updated as appropriate. Allergies, current medications, past family history, past medical history, past social history, past surgical history, and whatever, he cut it off then. <laughs> so going through all this, after they had talked about oh she's allergic to statins he's talking to me he said I can't get you to take a statin and I'm like no I said first of all it's noted in my chart I'm allergic to statins secondly you know I said it caused me a lot of pain when I took it in the past he said what you don't want to deal with that pain and he was so totally serious I'm like no I don't 
I said, in fact, I told him, hell no, I do not. So, you know, he just, that's when he noted the chart that, no, I'm not going to do it, not going to do it. I did request another calcium score, though. So I have to, I'm going to go have that done and see how that goes. But this just, it aggravated me so badly. Noting my chart that it's an allergy. Whether it's a real allergy or not, it's beside the point. It's in my chart. It's an allergy. That's how they worded it last year. Why would a doctor come up and ask you if you want to take something that you're <laughs> supposedly allergic to? That's crazy. Try it. These medication pushing doctors are, they just drive me crazy. It's like when I went um, months back for my colonoscopy, which I have talked about in a previous video, when the doctor came in prior to any procedures and says, just because I had had gastric bypass in the past, that she wanted me to take a Meprazole. I said, for what? She says, heartburn and acid reflux. I said, but I don't have those. I don't have any symptoms. So no, I'm not going to take it. This was before even looking at anything because I had a colonoscopy and an endoscopy that day. And it was just unreal to me that she's trying to prescribe a medication without any cause, any reason, no looking at me, no seeing if there actually is an issue in there that would warrant me taking this medicine, nor asking me, do you have acid reflux? <laughs> do you have heartburn? None of which I have. It, it's really getting to the point where it's getting ridiculous. So I, something, something has to happen because this is, it's just crazy. I, I really commend Dr. Barry for all the work he's doing with the ketogenic way of eating and making people aware. Um, I, it's just, wow. I, I don't even know what else to say about it other than something has to give. These physicians, and I know it's the pharmaceutical companies and it's their higher-ups that, you know, just don't want them doing anything other than what is right in front of them and black and white, even if it's wrong, it's like, okay, we got this statin. That's the answer. There was never any talk about my cholesterol numbers. I haven't had any blood work done for over a year. That's coming up in July when I go see my primary care doctor. But even then, my total cholesterol was only 212. My HDL was good, my triglycerides were good. LDL was a little bit elevated, but nothing drastic, nothing bad. And you know, it's like no, no, and no. So you guys really, really need to stick up for yourself when you go to the doctor, because they just, it's, it's really crazy. I, I just can't. I don't know. It, I they just look at me because I tell them, uh, nope, nope, not gonna do it. Not, nope. <laughs> I know how I feel. They don't. And then he asked me at the end of the conversation. He said, "When do you want to come back?" I said, "When I feel bad." <laughs> and he said, "How about a year?" I said, "Whatever." I said, I, "Just schedule it. I guess I'll be here." So I did get the. Um, referral for a CAC score. I will not have them off order it from the hospital again because that was crazy. But I will call and order it after I get back on vacation. My husband and I are going Friday. We're leaving to drive up to New Hampshire to see our kids and grandkids. Um, it's been a year. Well, we saw them in January when our daughter got married. But yeah, it was a, a very brief visit with the kids and the grandkids. So this will be fun, and then we'll be back next week. And then I'm going to start trying to figure out a schedule for videos. I've been trying to rack my brain as far as what to do for June, if I wanted to challenge myself for June, or because I'm going away, you know, it's definitely going to be keto, no matter what I do. And uh, I think I'm going to wait till I get back and figure something for July. In the meantime, I'm just going to stay doing what I've been doing and been successful till now, up till this point. So that that's about what my June is going to be. And 
Yeah, my husband, he's the same. He's, you know, he's been keto right along with me almost from the start. And he's doing well. Trying to get him to tell his story on here. I'm going to get him one day. Because he had, definitely has one. He had depression for a while that's gone. His, he's a type 1 diabetic. His blood sugars are pretty much under control. I, I mean, his A1C has come down to a 6.5 from almost 8. And his endocrinologist doesn't want him getting any lower, which is crazy. We told her, nah, no, it's, not, it's coming down. My husband feels good. But he also has cervical dystonia that I really would like him to talk to you guys about because there, I'm sure there are other people out there that have these things and that they, it could help. So I'm just going to push him some more. <laughs> But I hope you all have a great day, and thank you for watching. Please share, like, comment, yes, I will reply, and have a great day. Egg salad on the egg white buns, and pork belly is what's for breakfast. And Brian has them on hamburger buns, that's the same thing dinner tonight. Nine ounce ribeye with some Brussels sprouts with bacon and Brian's is 11 and a half ounce with some Brussels sprouts with bacon and butter. This is bacon spam scramble with eggs, a little bit of onions and cheese and maple waffle waffles, a keto chow maple waffle. Dinner, two folio wraps microwaved and cut in chips, two hard boiled eggs, and eight slices of salami. That's my dinner for today. Hi. Hi. Baconade or triples is what's for lunch. Joe from Two Crazy Keto Chicken Nugget Recipe with the batter from Indigo Neely from her batter recipe. All right, breakfast, keto chow drop biscuits, three eggs plus two egg yolks, pork belly bacon, and some pork belly bites. Hi, Brian. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> we are in Frisians. We're getting to breakfast water. There's his. Yeah, well, there's mine. Our breakfast meal is going to be this pizza just to be topped with mozzarella cheese, which is here. There's pepperoni in it, ground beef, bacon crumble, Ralph's marinara, and some Parmesan cheese. And boy, does it smell good in here already. And there's my hat. Brian's got his, ready to eat.